Hey, welcome to this Science Masterclass. Today we're going to learn about the work of Robert Hooke in 1665 and how technological developments have helped us to understand how living things work on a cellular level. Okay, my name is Mr. Saligaris. This is part of my Year 8 Science Biology course. Okay, so the work of Robert Hooke in 1665 was pretty important to us in understanding how living things work. Prior to Robert Hooke's work in 1665, scientists had been making observations of living things but not really understanding how they work on a cellular level. So we're talking about cells now. In 1665, Robert Hooke was making some observations of living things under a microscope. Uh, one of those things was a piece of cork. Okay? The piece of cork, he noticed when he was viewing it under the microscope, had little holes that kind of reminded him of honeycomb. So those little holes with boundaries around them. He called these little holes with boundaries around them cells. Um, they also reminded him of rooms of a monastery. That's kind of why he called them cells. So he was making these observations, writing them down, and he uh, published a book called Micrographia. His work was both ridiculed and uh, thought of as really exciting and innovative uh, for the world of science back at the time. Uh, some people thought it was a waste of money that he was spending all this time uh, on making these observations and other people uh, thought it was fantastic uh, that he was doing this. Okay, so let's summarize our, uh, what we've talked about today. We've talked about how Robert Hooke has revolutionized the way that we think about cells um, and we've also talked about how we made observations of cells um, and described them as honeycomb uh, under a microscope. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like it, uh, and make sure you view it again if you missed any points here. Thanks for watching.